Hi, and welcome to our Townsman VR presentation. Townsman VR could best be described as a god game simulation meets build-up strategy game with a huge emphasis on interaction. Controls are very important in the VR space, so we came up with an intuitive control scheme that enables you to traverse the world easily. In order to move, you grab in the world and pull yourself forward. With that, you can crawl through the world and get a very responsive and direct feeling without any motion sickness. To rotate the world, you use a gesture that could best be described as turning the steering wheel of a truck, for example. Zooming works by pulling your hands in and out respectively. As mentioned earlier, you can interact with pretty much anything in the game. This goes as far as using lightning clouds to annoy your workers or fight off enemies. To place a building, you simply drag it from the build menu into the world. Your workers build everything on their own by getting the resources out of storage. You can just sit back and relax, your workers will do all the work for you. It is important to decide which buildings you are going to build. Over the course of the game, you will unlock more buildings and more complex production chains. The building UI displays all the important information of your construction sites and you can bring resources by hand or assign workers. In this case, once the hunting lodge is ready, the worker will become a hunter and search for food. Of course, you could also have a fisherman to catch fish in the lakes, but you can also do all of that by yourself, including express delivery to the face. Once you reach a big population, the farm is essential to feed your townies. Not only can you grow some grain, but you can keep livestock, which in turn provides you some meat or milk. A simple production chain with the farm would be to use grain at the windmill, get some flour out of it, and in the end bake some delicious bread for your hungry townies. As it is in the real world, grain is very versatile and can also be used as food for your animals. Your cows provide you with milk. Sheep give you wool. And chickens? Well, chickens do indeed lay eggs. Other birds are less useful, but still want some attention. Just like the farm, other buildings can have add-ons. Get a saw for your woodcutter to produce some planks or get a slaughterhouse for your hunter, so you can use your farm animals to get meat. If you ever run out of space, you can simply tear down buildings by dragging the hammer onto the building you want to demolish. With the drag and drop of the hammer, we can make sure that you destroy the correct building and not something else by accident. The same controls are also applied when doing research. New buildings, add-ons or upgrades can be researched by your humble monks and nuns in the library. Upgrades improve existing buildings. This townhouse will soon have space for more residents. Trade ships are visiting your islands regularly. Since all resources in the game are physical objects, you need to transport your goods onto the ship for each trade. Amassing a lot of goods and riches surely creates some attention, so you should produce weapons like swords and bows to be able to recruit soldiers that can defend your town. Besides various soldier types, you can also use siege weapons like the catapult to defend and leave a dent in the enemy forces. We hope you enjoyed this little presentation. We can't wait to share even more details, so stay put and follow us on our social media channels. Thanks for watching, goodbye and stay safe.